Hey guys and welcome back to Futures Edge Land Striders mod pack that is very very graciously sponsored by Aim to Game Servers. If you're looking for a server to module uh, to host your mod pack on, by all means look down in the description and get a shout from them. Now I'm not particularly sure what we're supposed to be doing today. Last time we managed to get a few ore doubling processes underway. I say a few, we got one ore processing uh or doubling process underway. We've got a sag mill up here. Oh, look, stuff to be going in here. Um, oh, I've just turned into a corner. That, that was confusing there. Also cooking a whole load of steel because I've got a few things that I want to use that for. Let's try and get our way out here. I've been starting to keep all these powders with the appropriate ores. So we've got like a gold one down. That That's not where I wanted that. A gold one down here, a copper one here. We've got a lot of copper powder. Not so much on the gold powder. I've also been making steel because I think... In the quest line, one of the ones that I really want to get on with, Tech Tree, is possibly getting the alloy smelter underway uh, and getting a few of these other quests done. But first, before I do any of that, I want to show you guys something. And I think I'm going to do it up on this wall here. If we take a moment and hopefully through the power of editing... Boom! We've got ourselves a new piece of fan art produced by ZTech. Man, thank you very, very much. I think this totally sums up... One aspect of what we're doing here. What do you want? Are you staring at me? Go away. But anyway, this. <laughs> I love it. It's, uh, yeah, as I say, it's definitely a way of looking at what we're doing here. But I don't know. I don't think the people here feel that that's what's going on. Uh, I mean, look, look, she's outside and feeling the good times. Talking of outside, so I think we want to do some of the, qu the tech tree quest line, but I also feel like maybe. Just maybe we should get ourselves uh, some bees on the go. Now, this round and round, is that the centrifuge? Okay, I don't really want to do that one. What I want to do, I didn't really mean to come out of the box. Uh, you can see we need the fabricator to do the apiary. Now, where is the fabricator? That's the squeeze it. That's the fabricator. So let us continue down this line here, sh shall we? So one of the first things we have to do before we even begin crafting any actual components is make ourselves a whole load of bronze. I'm not sure if we're going to need quite this much, but we can make the sturdy casing. I'll take that single bit of bronze back, thank you. Over this way, I should be able to grab one, two, three, four, five, six bits of tin and two bits of glass. And hopefully just going a clickety click, click, click. Should give us a squeezer. Now, why will we want a squeezer? Well, mainly it's to finish the quest. But also, we can make ourselves some fruit juices, some crushed ice, there's seed oil. Uh, there was one other thing. So we can put the creosote bottles in and get some glass back to get the creosote out. <coughs> Excuse me. We can also crush honeydew for honey. There is a whole lot of stuff that can be done here. But nothing immediately pressing. Huh. See, see what I did there? Pressing. Uh, and in here, we're going to go quests, beeline, not beeline, tech tree. I like to squeeze it. Squeeze it. Uh, and we're going to take one of these. Now, we could take the bronze gear, and that would be useful. And we could take the heart, and that would also be useful. But I think I'm going to save myself some effort and grab, grab some wires. Uh, the next thing we want to do is the fabricator. Now, this is actually a machine that is pivotal pivotal to all of the forestry mod there uh, it's kind of the craft bench of forestry if you will oh look we got a, got a heart anyway hearts belong in here though i want to change all these chests was there not a heart in here oh why have i put it in here with this lot this should just be bees and assorted items that i can't figure out where to go put uh this one should definitely be in here this is kind of stuff that i need to pay attention to plus some uh engineering tools this needs to come out and be put into another quest. The, all these chests are horrendous. These are my seeds here. These guys want to go live the other side of the shop. And then these guys want to all get put into, I don't know, a stack of crates back there. Something like that. But I got sidetracked. Let's talk about the fabricator. So it's actually the same as what we've already done. Thankfully, I've got loads of bronze on me. So we want to steal a sturdy casing. Well, not really steal. We want to take a sturdy casing. Put in a couple of bits of glass. I was really quite worried when I first saw the 
uh, recipes for this because it didn't show cyan and stain and stuff like that. It was quite clear glass, which unfortunately you need the alloy smelter from. And I was like, oh no, yeah, this stuff, this stuff. I was like, oh no, how are we going to make that? You need to do this in the alloy smelter. Uh, but it turns out, no, you could just use normal glass. I did not realize I was doing that. Ah, uh, now which backpack has just picked up my glass? It's going to be this one, right? Yeah. Oh, I've got a block of iron on me and all sorts. That I literally only want to have that um, that backpack on me for torches. That that's all. That's all I want. To, if there's a way that I can sort out what this does and doesn't pick up, I would be so happy. But there's the fabricator. Uh, again, what are we going to need the fabricator for? Everything. Like everything. Not only can you pack crates, but you can make frames for bees, letters, uh, backpacks themselves. Just. Anything you can think of that might come from a forestry mod is in here somewhere because, you know, this is the one to use. As for what reward we're going to take, I think we're going to take the impregnated casing because whilst the seed oil looks all right and we could make an impregnated casing from that, I've got a feeling that it's going to be a stepping stone onto another quest. Okay, so that was the fabricator done, and that was what we actually wanted to do here. We can now go straight to the apiary. We could make the bee house, but it's it's a little bit underpowered. I was going to say OP. No, UP. It's a little bit underpowered, uh, so we're going to go with that. We also want to do the centrifuge. So let's start with the apiary. The apiary is not going to be uh, too difficult, I do not think. So it is, of course, the impregnated casing, some uh, planks and some half slabs now that shouldn't be too hard if we get the one two three half slabs there uh five normal planks there and we should have the impregnated casing so we can just get straight on now we're gonna want to make more than this obviously and i do believe if we just check the recipe this is actually done in the fabricator with logs and seed oil seed oil is the one we got to work on but I will take this apiary for now, and we will uh, put some bees in it, just, just to get going. Uh, I think we're going to get going with the Meadows drone. The Meadows drone. Why would it not be that? In fact, first, the reason it might not be that is we might get some better bees here. Oh, we could hop step it up to common. Uh, and then if we mix the common with any of the other drones we've got already, we could get a... What's the word I'm looking for? Cultivated bee. Can you tell I've just done a whole load of bee stuff in post for them this morning? Uh, okay, right. Let's pop these guys kind of away. We, we suddenly have... Did I not claim that? Did I not claim it? Uh, we suddenly have things that we need to think about. No, I had not claimed it. But before we do any thinking, I would like to make a centrifuge. We've got to make sure we've got all the equipment, you know? Centra... No, no, I, I'm not sure, sure which way of spelling it is. I'm bad with spelling, guys. If you don't know this already, I am bad with spelling. Okay, so we just need some copper, a sturdy casing, and some glass. Okay, we can do this, definitely. Biggity bam now we can deal with all the stuff that comes out of the bees. That's kind of what this is all setting up for. I think we might use this room for bees. Maybe just this end one here. Maybe maybe the very front one. Maybe these two graves will have to move. But I'm going to uh, think about that, set a few things up, and I will see you guys after this cut. So as I say, just to get us started, I think I'm going to throw the Meadows drones outside. Oh, look, there's a new floor up there. We will go and have a look. I got left on my own last night with people sleeping around me, so I thought I'd get on with some building. Now, eventually, if we have a look in here, quests... Oh, I'm in a different quest line. In the bee line, we're eventually going to be working down to these powered apiaries. Not quite what we're going to do now, but it does mean that I'm going to set up most of my bees out here for now, because look, there's the power, so we will do that. Maybe I will end up setting up some power on that one as well but as I say I was left on my own last night so I thought I'd add another floor to save myself a little bit of iron I stopped using this Tyrion stuff and used the chisel stone that I think has the same texture ish close enough uh, I've decided on this front wall I'm gonna do a massive glass archway uh, probably gonna be coming up from these pillars here uh, massive gothic arch and then fill that with glass and then you'll have like a nice little area where you can stand around and look on the world outside stand on a couple of platforms that lead up here because you can see i've been trying to mark out some stairways it's all rather close at the moment but i think what's gonna happen we're not going to be coming up there this is going to almost be a dead zone they'll come up here turn around and go up this way maybe put a little half moon quarter moon i suppose here and then over on that side you can see where this path comes down and then towards the nether well i want it to go towards um 
elevators. Elevators here to go to the various floors heading upwards. Another thing that I've had to do... <coughs> I had to block this nether, por nether portal off. Uh, the skulls, I can't remember exactly what they were called, but you guys remember them from the nether. The skulls kept on coming out and blowing up all my stuff. There's no one in here at the moment. So at the moment, I have to come in through the back door. No biggie. We're probably going to work on something that encloses it in some glass or something like that, and maybe we'll lock up one of the iron golems in there so we can have a laugh with whatever comes through but what i want to do right now uh well what i really want to do is sleep but what i want to do right now is head on for the alloy smelter quest because i have been spending an awful lot which one is it this one an awful lot of coal smelting up oil uh oil iron where did oil come from? I have no idea. And I'm now down to less than a stack of coal. So this is something that I should have addressed earlier. Uh, how much steel do we have? We've only got four bits of steel here. Let's go grab some stuff and get some sleep. I wonder whether we're going to get attacked here. We're not. Great. Love it. So in here, we've got eight bits of steel linger. Oh, man, I was kind of hoping to have a few more. Let's take those out of that and put them in there. Is it only going to be one for one? Maybe we need to put a whole load of more coke. We've got some slag, though. That's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so the alloy smelter, not in that one, in this one. It's a lot of iron, a cauldron, a few furnaces, and the machine chassis, which is the hardest thing to make here. Uh, the steel linger, we've got the basic gears, I think, are going to be the things. We need some treated sticks, eh? So that's the machine chassis. Uh, we should have everything other than the cauldron just kind of kicking around. So let's get four iron blocks. Oh, yeah. And then it's seven for the cauldron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I've got eight anyway. You know, that it's always nice to have a little bit of extra iron on you. Okay, so that should be all good. This should be all good. Click, 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 click. Alloy smelter. Now, where are we going to put the alloy smelter? Oh, look, we've got a quest already. Uh, I've already set up a little bit of an area, and I already have a wire on me that's good i, I, I kind of didn't think i had that on there so i'm going to put this here uh we're going to up uh, jump that up there or not there we go jump that like that and then we need to use some cable to connect it up to the relay not found a limit on the relay yet we're, we will find how many machines we can hook up to it so this one currently is pushing out to the side you can see there it pushes now we want to make sure this is on furnace only alloys only furnace only uh because we don't want to end up with some weird alloys in here that uh, whilst that would be great fun it's not really what we're after i want that to pull as well okay so let's go get some more so if I put the iron ore in here, we should see... A, oh, man, I didn't I didn't set this one thing up. I want to push from the bottom here, right? Pull, push. We should see things go in, get smelted up, and then get dropped down in here. And from iron, we should see four different outputs, I think. Yeah, look, we've got iron dust, tin powder, nickel grit, and cobblestone, which obviously will turn into iron, tin, nickel, and smooth stone. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. So I've been playing around with the Schematica mod, and I think this is the archway I'm going to put on the front. It's quite large compared to what I've got going on there, but that just sets the scene for where I am going. I've also finished off these pillars here. I'm not sure if this is the final size I'm going to have these pillars. I could quite easily bring this uh, bulky bit right up and up to this level and then put the cross going further up and then that further up again. I'm not sure, but let's go over and build this in place, shall we? I mean... Mm, should we try one one more look there was one more look i was gonna try so if i uh, open this one and we pull it down one oh it doesn't like to load when i've been playing with it like that but i think is that a better look i know it's subtle i know it's subtle but uh, i'm just trying to trying to gauge it it's mainly about the ratio between this and this i might even bring it down one more actually Okay, well, I kind of like that. Let's let's go and play with it. Let's go and play with it. I think it will work. Uh, the first thing I need to make sure I've got is some ladders. So I have indeed got them. You also note that I am full of materials. What are you doing there, buddy? Uh, we're going to change those into these wire frames. These are kind of my support block of choice. Um, the ones that kind of lend my building some structural soundness, if you will. They just kind of seem to come through as supportive pillars. I've not put them over there. I should probably get on that. I should probably get on that. At the moment, it's a bit of a long manual way up. As I say, I want to put some elevators in there to make it a little bit better. And I'm currently having the debate about whether to make this space here in between this wall and... Oh, no. 
Oh, that was bad. Uh, but that that wall and the front edge, a sort of open communal area, or do with so that would mean another wall coming across here, or do we have it as part of the enclosed area? I'm not sure. This, these are the troubles that I face right now. In fact, we can go up this way. So what I'm going to do is open up this and turn on my printer. Okay, and then it should have loads of these just to get going with. Awesome, I love it. And it should place them all for me whilst I just kind of run up with a ladder. Now, it's going to tell me that the ladders are wrong. That's because they don't belong in the design, but that's fine. That is totally fine. The little hand action makes me feel like I'm placing ladders when I'm not, and I can't quite do it all. Oh, I thought I had more ladders. Oh, no. Give us a sec. Looking forward to having an item that will enable me to fly. I think that will make uh, things a lot easier for the building process around here. I'm not sure what the pack contains for flying. I saw that there was uh, Project E, so that that will have the rings, I think. Oh, look, we're already all the way to the top. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I don't know. They, like, is there a forestry jetpack or something like that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we'll just fill this in by going down. Now, I am not touching any buttons here. Well, other than moving back and forth. It's putting down all these blocks for me. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Should we turn this off and go and have a look at what we have wrought? Ah, man. I'm going to kill myself through a series of small jumps, aren't I? It might be. It might be. Actually, that's really good. I like it. Now all we got to do is think about what design's going in the middle and how we join this to this without it looking absolutely bleh. So we've had an update and this of course means that I have lost my entire journey map and also that my lighting settings have been reverted back to the dark moody settings which has given me the prompt to go around and start thinking about the lighting here. Now this edge is kind of how it was you can see dark sporadic patchy but over here I've been doing a little bit of work you will notice say this um smooth sandstone here uh, it glows and why does it glow well if we have a look underneath there is in fact some glowstone hidden under here now this is not a case of i've put down a lump of glowstone like this and then put a carpet on top oh no 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 this is actually a case of the fact that i have taken the glowstone chisel and bits let's just do that to remove it and literally just put down a single layer uh if i can take it away here put down a single layer and you can see sandstone underneath i've done that in a few places all i've done is stripped back the first couple of layers put down a layer of glowstone then put down a layer of the appropriate block on top like for say stone brick over here stone brick there uh so this is quite a nice nice lighting effect i think it kind of suits this bottom layer dark dingy not quite as up to spec as it should be uh so everywhere we see a torch i want to go around and make a light sculpture you know something that just brings a little bit of illumination to the area i think i'm going to leave that like that it's the same with these grub ting doorway lights i think i'm going to leave these like this you can see that they are literally just a single what was that noise they're literally just a single um sheet of glowstone on top there uh, I spent a little bit of time in the past couple of uh, hours or so going around trying to figure out what is the minimum amount of glowstone you need to put down to make a lighting effect. And it turns out it's not actually all that much. I can hear something absolutely going nuts at me. But I think we're going to do a little bit of lighting here together. Uh, if I can actually sort out my frames per second. It says I'm running at 60 frames per second, but I tell you what, it does not feel like it from this point of view. Uh, so let's try and find a central point. That's kind of there between the two... Uh, between the two doors if I do a little sneak and drop this down like this that should be down low enough now what I want to do now is throw on a little bit of glowstone is it not going to take that it's not it's full on not going to allow me to do that okay so we will throw a scrap block on the bottom let's go get some scrap blocks so thankfully the lack of gravity in this pack means I can do things like this I mean could you imagine if we still had to deal with gravity uh, it would be very awkward. Let's start by putting something like that on. Yeah, okay. Are we going to build this up layer by layer? Or can we put down a scrap block on the other side? I'm going to go for the scrap block on the other side. Of course, my builder's backpack is picking up the things that I want to use for scrap blockage. There we go. Cobblestone. Let's pop that over there. That There is a noisy thing somewhere, isn't there? Let's let's go and find that, shall we? Can I pop that there? Okay, cool. Let's go and have a look. Where, where are you, little noisy thing? You're going to be out this way somewhere. Hello? It's very dark down there, but there we go. Here he is. I'm going to mess you up, boy. 
Uh, if we can come back over this way, I would be ever so grateful, though. You gonna come for it? You gonna come for it? I think he is, slowly but surely. All right, now we can move in and have him ourselves. Yeah, that was the, the noise that we were hearing. Okay, cool. That's that taken care of. Let's get back to placing some glowstone bits here because I want to make enough to put the light level up, but not enough to be, like, super intrusive. So if I grab this one here... Now, there's definitely still a noise on the go. Perhaps it's coming from the portal. Ooh, it kind of looks good, and it's making a lot of light. Uh, I say it kind of looks good. Kind of looks a little bit naff, but we, we will see what we can do about that. Is that not enough to put it down there? Perhaps getting rid of this would be a good start. And then pop this down like that. Okay, so that's a nice little bar of glowing there. That was more just a test of concept, so everything should work out fine. If we just kind of bulk this out a little bit more, maybe we can make a strip light of some description. Maybe put... I've got some uh, smooth sandstone here. Let's put... A layer of this stuff around the outside. Yeah, yeah, okay, that kind of looks good. I like it, I like it. So going with this sort of idea, I think we can start making lots of other types of lights around. Um, now, I'm hoping that this isn't what's causing the lag, because the lag is starting to get a little bit real now. Uh, let's go and see what's over in the in the uh, the portal room here. I've got a feeling something is trying to have my blood. Uh, is it in here? No, I really thought this was it. Okay, so it must be something around. All right, I'm going to go around and do a few more lighting things. Look at him up there. That's that's the problem. Uh, I don't have any uh, any arrows on me. Do you reckon we can use an egg to ga gather his attention? I just I just want one. There we go. Hey, you. It does work. Yeah, great. No, come come here. Come on. Oh, he's not interested. He's not interested. He's obviously trying to get a specific villager. Let's go up and see what we can do about that. There are lots of guys around here who have taken damage. Come on. Die. We want to go that way before you blow up. Okay, that bit of fence was already missing, so I will take that as a massive result. Well, guys, I did a little bit of building. I kind of got this archway up and going, put these uh, grey glass panels in here, and I really love this black anti-block. Yeah, anti-block. I, I didn't even know it was a thing either, but I just went around and searched a few things up, and look at this bold, bold, bold colours. So we'll be making use of those elsewhere. This is uh, actually water stone around the outside. You literally take a bucket of water. Let's let's do this, water stone. Uh, you literally take a bucket bucket of water in the middle of a load of stone to make water stone and then you can chisel it to all sorts of different patterns. Uh, I like this one. I've also put a little strip of pattern around the top edge there and I really like that. But that's not all I've been doing. It's not all been external. We're going to have to run upstairs though. Talking of stairs, I don't really like the way these two are being shown off in the window here. Quite cl clear gar glass by the way. Got this cooked up in the alloy smelter. I want to show you a trick with that. But that's quite clear glass with blue stained quite clear glass or blue painted I suppose. Let's uh, start off by doing a little little magic trick, shall we? L look at me come along and take a few bits of normal glass here. Just, just a few bits of normal glass. And we're going to come over to where our alloy smelter is being stored. And you can see here, this is where we keep our quite clear glass. We currently have uh, one stack and 46. If I put this normal glass in, though... That's not how you do that. If I put this normal class in, though, you can see it goes up to 48. Yes, indeed. You don't need to uh, smelt glass when you have it inside the drawer. You can just pick it up and swap it between cl uh, quite clear and normal glass in the drawer system, which I thought was massively hacksy, and I thought I'd show you guys what was going on with that. I've also built these things up here. They were to address the problem that I had of dark spots. I've got some dark spots down there, but I was having them in between each door all along this edge here um, so I put down these things they're supposed to kind of evoke the shape of the building and I don't know be sort of reminiscent of where we're at so I, I don't know I may may have struck that may have not uh, I could probably do a different design there but I, I was just kind of that was the first thing I threw down 
Well, the first thing I threw down was a line, and I was like, no, that's terrible. So I then uh, modified it a little bit to make those, threw in a splash of colour and a little border. But the thing that's actually taking me legit a couple of days is this sculpture over here. Like, first off, I, I came along and put a little table in the corner and a little supportive pillar for this here. And that, they, they happened really quick. Oh, I don't like the way that that, that grey is coming through like that. I'm not sure if we can fix that at all but yeah that that's something to watch out but this this triple stranded helix this this literally took me two days i ripped down and put back together i sometimes put four down sometimes put two tried to join it up in the middle uh i tried to do glowstone around the outside first instead of this red bit but turns out that wasn't actually enough to light this area up so i end up having to put this column in the middle but yes anyway that is uh that is a whole day's worth of decoration. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time. Well, we're going to do a whole load of quests. We're going to get some of these quick uh, gear quests done. Maybe a few of the storage quests. Try and get this completely wrapped up uh, and things like that. And then start getting on this tech tree. But yes, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! And I'm going to put a park up on top in case you're wondering.